I've learned that with painful experiences, you have to feel them. You can't skip over the feeling of pain and try to jump to solutions. You have to feel it. And in the process of feeling, you will come to a more organic and natural solution for you and the people around you. I've also learned that acceptance for a child is not a conditional thing. I've learned what true love and un unconditional acceptance means. I thought I'd had it before. I thought I was an unconditional loving parent, but this experience really exposed a lot of expectations and conditions that I did have, and it helped me break them down in a very painful way, but it taught me what unconditional love actually is and, and how to exercise that towards your child. When we had these early indicators that our son was diagnosed with autism potentially, I was in denial. I didn't really listen to the doctor or my wife who were saying these indicators are real and our son has lost his language. He's not looking at us. He doesn't point. After several weeks of kind of saying, oh, he'll grow out of this. We're, we're done. We, in six months, we'll be done with this. Uh, there was one day at work when my wife was texting me, actually, and she was just, I'm so distraught. This is such, this is going to be so difficult. And I remember having the same process go through my mind. Oh, it's, he'll grow out of it. This isn't really a thing. And then it finally, I finally realized I haven't actually looked at these indicators that they're talking about. I haven't looked at the, the data and, the, and this checklist. And so I did. I pulled it up on my computer, um, just Googled it, and started to read down the list of all of the indicators that represent a child with early regressive autism. And I remember my heart just sinking because I just was like, this is real. And I am in total denial of the reality here. And that started, I feel like, the downward trend towards a season of our lives that um, was full of a lot of mourning and, and difficulty and pain and reshaping of expectations of what parenthood and our connection with our child would be. And that moment of, of reading that, I feel like, was the moment when I kind of let my heart open up and start to feel the pain for the first time. We overcame this by learning to join our child, to learn to speak his language metaphorically, to come onto his level and to flap our hands when he flapped his hands, to uh, run on our tippy toes when he ran on his tippy toes, to spin around in circles when he spun around in circles. Learning what made Henry, our son, connect with other people and learning to participate in that type of relationship was the key for us to come out of our expectations and to join Henry and let him lead in the relationship. And that was the solution more than any therapy or any uh, doctor visit or any medicine or anything that, that could have helped us.